Fisherman Aqua Duelist here. For today's video, I want to talk about just the Mako boss monster that even Konami, I feel, has forgotten about. You know, what better time to talk about it, you know, than now since we got all this new Mako and, you know, Legendary Fisherman support announced. So, uh, even though Mako didn't use this card and the two cards I work with it in, like, the anime and such, um, Konami just has this habit of where anything, you know, Umi kind of related is just, oh, you know, it's, it, it's Mako Tsunami. They just slap, slap, uh, you know, Mako on it and call it a day. So, uh, this card actually got used in the GX anime in episode 38 by the Admiral. Honestly, I forgot the episode even existed. Uh, it just wasn't memorable enough, even though, you know, the guy uses, you know, a, a water-based, you know, legendary ocean deck. Uh, the Admiral just wasn't even memorable. He was essentially a one-and-done, pretty crappy character. Like, it honestly just feels like an insult to, you know, Mako Tsunami. Like, it was just a really bad GX, you know, Mako wannabe. That's how I feel about it. So if you don't know the card I'm talking about, it's called Mega. It's called Orca Mega Fortress of Darkness. Now, if you're unfamiliar with this card, it is a level five water sea serpent, with 2,100 attack, 1,200 defense. Its effect is by tributing one torpedo fish on your side of the field, you can destroy one monster on the field. By tributing one cannonball spear shellfish on your side of the field, you can destroy one spell or trap on the field. Now, for the other two cards I work with it, uh, you have the Cannonball Spear Shellfish, which is a lot harder to just say sh without messing up than you think. Uh, it's a level 2 Water Aqua with 1,000 attack and 1,000 defense, and its effect is while Umi is face up on the field, this card is unaffected by any spell cards. And then Torpedo Fish is a level 3 Water Fish with 1,000 attack, 1,000 defense as well. And while Umi is face up on the field, this card is unaffected by any spell cards. So with those uh, two little cards right there, uh, it basically kind of works the same with uh, Legendary Fisherman, where it's not going to get that boost off of the you know Legendary Ocean or Umi. Just wanted to throw it out there. Uh, what's crazy is all three of these cards were actually printed in Invasion of Chaos, uh, which honestly is probably like the most iconic you know dual monsters you know, era set to me, um, and then it all got reprinted in Dark Revelation Volume 2, which, excuse me, uh, really old, like, these cards haven't been reprinted in a super long time. These cards have never seen any competitive success whatsoever, but I think their concept is actually really interesting. I also think that Orca Mega Fortress has some bombing artwork. I'm not going to lie. I love it when you really look at everything that's really there. It's pretty cool. Um, but the concept of, you know, essentially having this monster use these smaller ones as essentially ammo. And, you know, firing away, destroying stuff. Which, what's interesting about that is the fact that it doesn't say, you know, your opponent's cards. It just says, you know, destroys, you know, on the field, essentially. Really freaking cool. We don't see that a whole lot. So you could essentially pop your own cards with it, uh, you know, if you really wanted to. Uh, you could probably do some really cheeky shit with that. But what's also really awesome is the fact that Mega Fortress here isn't once per turn on like anything. You as long as you can keep supplying the little ones on the field to tribute, you can just keep firing them off and destroying stuff, and that's really freaking cool. <sighs> Three. Two, one. I think the biggest problem that these guys, you know, just suffer from is the fact that they're all different types. I mean, it's, you know, the fact that they're all water is nice, but when you really look at it, Sea Serpent, Aqua, and Fish all have, like, their own little separate pools of just support, while I know there's just a wide array of just generic water support in general. Uh, I feel like it's kind of hard to make a deck that fully, you know, can utilize and just abuse these guys just because of how broken up the support is for their typing and such. Uh, like I said, I think it was the last video I did, Fish is the most under-supported out of these, you know, th the three types here we have. We have, you know, Aqua, Sea Serpent, Fish. Fish is just kind of under-supported. There's not really a whole lot that would work with this, work with this guy particularly, you know, Torpedo Fish. 
Aqua has kind of a lot of really good support, especially for low levels. So, you know, Spear Shellfish I think is good. And then Sea Serpent's in some weird middle ground. So there's, you know, that essentially, you know, for uh, Mega Fortress here. But the th one of the other things, too, is with Mega Fortress being a level 5, in order for this deck to really kind of kick off, you have to have Legendary Ocean, essentially. So the deck kind of falls in this weird spot that Legendary Fisherman has, where without the field spell, you're not really doing anything. Um, <clears throat> what's cool, though, is the fact that, you know, we the new Mako, some of the new Mako support kind of helps this deck out. Uh, Fish Sonar essentially can add... Uh, cannonball, Spearfish, and Torpedo Fish. Uh, it sucks that we can't, you know, add Orca Mega Fortress. Um, we're not really going to have a way to get that, essentially. But it's really cool that essentially the ammo pieces now have a way where they can be searched. Now, the last thing I want to talk about essentially is why I think Konami ultimately just forgot about, you know, Orca Mega Fortress with its two little, you know, ammo cards. Uh, shellfish and torpedo fish here uh, when we really look at you know just the pool of monsters that mako you know has or you know that's just kind of like oh yeah that's mako you know monsters there uh you know it's just kind of thrown at them um <laughs> they've all of them have just about had a upgraded form or like a retrain or counterpart essentially uh especially uh levi dragon daldeus you know it's got it's uh Ocean Lord upgrade form. It's got, you know, the Light Ray and Chaos counterpart, uh, you know, just counterpart or um, retrains essentially. Uh, every, just about everything has like, w you know, one or two of those, I feel. And, you know, these guys particularly don't. Also, the fact that, you know, these were basically used in the GX anime by, like, just a shitty forgettable character, you know, one-and-done type deal. Uh, it's just, like, it, it doesn't look too good. Um, even though it did come out, these cards came out in Invasion of Chaos, which, you know, was just a highly, like, memorable dual monster set. Uh, probably one of the best ones that they've had, or, you know, in that, you know, in that particular era. Uh, that doesn't set it up for success, and I just feel like over time these guys kind of got lost uh they're really cool they're really interesting i'm actually really excited to you know just kind of play around with these when the uh new mako support drops like for sure i'm definitely going to want to mess with this there's going to be a couple things you know a couple different things i want to mess with so that's going to be a fun time for not just me but the channel but yeah guys what do you what do y'all think i would love to hear y'all's thoughts on this so uh if you guys aren't subscribed Go ahead and harpoon that subscribe button for some awesome content. Go ahead and harpoon that like button if you like this video. Link in the description down below to my Instagram if you want to check that out and kind of keep up with you know me on there a bit. You can. And I will see you all in the next video, guys.